Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, Salvador. Hey. Good evening. How are you, Salvador? Yeah, un poquito más. Un poquito menos. Ah, más de, menos, menos, más menos, despejado. Menos estresado. Sí, bueno. Yeah, a very, very, very tough uh, week. You had a hard time. Yes, that was <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> sí, estuvo bastante bastante uh, pesado eso. Yes, that was that was yeah. really hard. But thanks God, like everything is getting right and, and you're, you're getting off from that. Pero menos mal que ya, ya va pasando. I guess. Right? Es lo importante. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing that you, that you are uh, overcoming that situation. Because that's a very uncomfortable situation, I guess. But anyway, that's the way how you go, how you move. So, all right, so good evening, everybody. Uh, we're going to start with the things that we're going to do for today. And uh, my God, how many people do I have? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Eric. I got only Happy five. birthday. Happy birthday. Why happy birthday? No le ha contado a nadie, entonces. The what? <laughs> no, <mentira. laughs> nah, my, my birthday was on June, last June. That was my birthday. Oh. Yes. Yeah, that was that was my, my birthday. Hey, where is Nubia? No, nah, but Nubia got a got a, a daughter's birthday, I think. Bien la publicación. Que creo que estaba de cumpleaños, Nubia. Ah, ok. Yes, but she left. Ah, pues por eso no se conectó un día de esto, había agarrado Zumba. <laughs> exactly. No, Pero, but, I, que... but I think it was, it, was, it was today. Yo creo que fue ahora que subí esas fotografías. Yeah, we're bueno, going to y... yeah, we're gonna ask, creo que por eso no se conecta ahorita. <laughs> no se conecta, es hora yes. que lleva media botella. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. No, I mean that 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 is good. Like to 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 celebrate that those type of things is is good, but like 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 when you start drinking too much, that is like not that good. That is like the not that good part. <laughs> no, nah, but that's funny. That's that, that's really funny. Ahí anda el ahí anda el video de 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 lo que pasó ahí a la a la parte donde, donde está el centro de distribución do, donde trabajamos ahí con Salvador. What happened there? Tell me. Ajá, chamaco que andaba mero, mero, mero cruzado ya. Los, los que andaban celebrando con novia. Ah, oh my God. <risa> <risa> ok. Yeah. Uy, se, uy. se tiró a una parte ahí donde hay eh, agua, ¿verdad? Y uh -huh. se endó un metro. Dando vuelta gato, ando haciendo varios, varios piquetes. Ajá, ajá. Y de repente solo se dejó caer así para atrás, ¿no? ajá. como que estuviera en concierto de rock. ¿no? Pero fue para dar con una plancha de cemento ahí. What? Really? Eh, really, dicho. Ya, no ya no se levantó. Bien servido quedó ahí. <risa> sí, quedó bien servido. Yo creo que ya no, no tuvo ganas de, de levantarse. <laughs> no, ahí mismo que le 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 sirvió de cobija a la plancha. <laughs> But, uh, I I I se lo mandé, mire. Oh my god, I will I will I will watch it. Let me let me open up the the application here in the computer. <laughs> oh my god, but people people are crazy nowadays, and I don't know why they act like that. I mean, if you if you know. 
that you got like really, really crazy things. Don't do things that you consider that you will be in problems. That's, that's what, I, what I think. Pero las personas como que les encanta, les encanta meterse en problemas. <laughs> they, no, they, enjoy, they enjoy the They've been fregado. Yeah, because imagine, I mean, that person hit, hit, hit the road there. Oh my God, that would be like not that good. Y el, el segundo video es algo, algo yuca. Oh my God, he hit the road. Ooh. Okay, ah, that was so, <laughs> oh my God, that was, that was too much. Bueno. Lo que hace el alcohol, verdad? <laughs> That's what the alcohol do. Nah, nah, nah. That's why. That's why I don't. I don't drink. Because I don't wanna. I, I don't. I don't really wanna suffer like problems like that. But people do it. People like that. They 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 don't care about that. Okay. But anyways, we're going to continue. We're gonna start uh, with the attendance list. Creo que ya estamos. I mean, it, it just, just seven people are connected. My God, these people are not coming. Ah, Novi is coming. Yeah, finally. She's coming. Okay, uh, I'm going to pass the attendance. Se, se fijó que vino de San Francisco, Novi. <laughs> Ayer ya no aparece. Ya no estaba en San Francisco. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. It was, she was in another place. <laughs> Nubia. No, pero creo que tiene problemas de conexión porque... No veo que se conecte. Ah, no, yeah, she's connected. <laughs> you see? And she's, and she's, she, she looks happy. I see, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Nubia. Were you on a celebration, Nubia? Uh, yesterday. Ah, it was yesterday? Ah, you told me, Eric. It was yesterday then. <laughs> yes, my daughter um, has a birthday, 21. Years ah, old. Yeah, you celebrated your your 21, 21 years old, really? 21? Yes. Yes. Ya está bien. <laughs> no, no, no. She's very young. <laughs> 21. 21. Yeah. Ah, cool, cool. That's that's your first daughter. What? Is that your first daughter? Yes. Nah. How many children do you have, Nubia? The first and unique. Ah, really? Only one? Another is a boy. It's, it's a... Ah, 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 okay. My yes. son, Rodrigo. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Just two kids and that's it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Only two. Yeah, okay, good. Eric, how many children do you have, Eric? Because I saw a little girl and I think it was, it, it is your, your daughter, right? I saw a picture on, on a story uh, of a little girl uh, dressing up a uh, uniform. Is that your, your daughter? Yes, um, uh, she's, ella mi hija mayor. Ah, really? Uh, bueno, de, de la sembra, pero tengo un varón de 23 años, pero él no está conmigo. Ah, ah. Um, eh, mi hija mayor que tiene eh, 20, eh, 20, 18 años, acaba de cumplir. <risa> ya, la te, ya me va a linchar. Yes. Eh, 18 años y mi hija menor que tiene 14. Ah, ok. Mm. Good. Uh, Got a good family. Ahí están yeah. las dos diablas. <risa> you know what? My, my wife is pregnant. She's pregnant and probably, probably uh, she's going to, 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 to have a, you know, like, like the, the baby probably by the second week of October. And uh, when, when we started like hanging out and everything, she used to tell me that she wanted to have three kids, right? Three kids. 
like a like a whole family. Now that she's pregnant and that she's suffering a lot, she tells me that only one and that's it. She doesn't want, she doesn't want more kids because she feels like she's dying. Me dice, ay, siento que me voy a morir, no, ya, uno, y eso es todo. <risa> no, but, uh, uh, sí, sí, son adorables, no dan dolores de cabeza, ¿verdad, Nubia? Los míos solo son, <risa> solo son dos. Yo era de la idea que quería tres, pero cuando vi a medida se fueron creciendo, lo costosos que se van volviendo, que el estudio, las enfermedades, yo dije no, solo dos. Y gracias a Dios tuve la bendición que la pareja, este varón, entonces ahí dije. All right, that's cool, that's cool. My grandmother wanted, wanted me to have a boy and my mom wanted me to have a girl, right? The first time that she, the, the, that my wife uh, take an ultra, an ultra, The doctor said that it was a, a, a girl and my mother was really happy. And my grandma was like, no, that must be a boy. That must be a boy. Now that, she, <laughs> that, that my, my wife got the, the seven months and we did another ultra and, and it appears that it's not a lady, it's a boy. And now my mother is like, like not happy and my grandma is like making fun of her like, te lo dije. <laughs> not just happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, that, that, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's no, así, así como, como es, 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 uh -huh. las etapas que va viviendo uno con ellos son bien bonitas. ¿no? O sea, exactly. así como son de carreras que le sacan a uno preocupaciones. Yeah. Pero son bonitas, o sea, y yeah, eso yeah, de verdad really cool. son los que quedan, cabal. Yeah, they are really eh. cool. y, ahí, y allá en el trabajo quejando, ¿sabes? <risa> pues todo lo que gasto en ellas. <risa> okay. es, que, es que la verdad que sí, cuando, es decir, uno de papá pretende ser un papá responsable en todos los sentidos, los hijos salen caros. Yes, yeah. Pero no, no es con el afán de uno querer quejarse, sino que la realidad de la, de la vida. Exactly. Que that's tiene que ser uno that's sobre why, esfuerzos. Exactly. That's why más, en el tiempo que estamos viviendo, que hoy no, es na, no hay nada barato. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Pero hay que, hay que seguir burriando. Exactly. That's the way. That's why we are here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's start up with the attendance list and then we're going to start with the things that we got for tonight. Uh, let's see, Ana Claribel, uh, she's not connected yet, right? Ana Maria, bueno, siempre viene tarde. Uh, Diana Gabriela. Present. Ah, que calladita está Diana. <laughs> Just listen. Lo he escuchado. <laughs> hey, you have a baby, right, Diana? Yes. How old is your baby? Hola. How old is your baby? Uh, six. Six. Ah, okay. That's a, that's a good one. La chiquita. Yes, yes. Empiezo. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Nah, okay. Good. Eric. Present teacher. All right, perfect. Ever, do you have children? Yeah, I have two child, two children. Ah, two children. Ah, okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. How old? Yeah. How old are they? Oh, well, the first thirteen and the last seven years. Okay, that's that's that's, that's nice. Yeah. Are you thinking on a third one? No. <laughs> just, just two, and that's it. No, no anymore. Yeah. Only, only two, and that's it. <laughs> how do how do they fabrica? Ya se cerrada la fábrica. Yeah. <laughs> the factory is closed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, that's nice. All right, let's see. Fatima is not here. Floridalia not here. Hilmar Cruz. Hey, Hilmar is not connected. Weird. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Nah, okay. Carla de Nasir. Not connected, right? Uh, Natalie Vanessa. No. Luvia Zulema. Present. Nah, okay. Romeo Alexis. All right, no here. Rosa is no here. Roxana Yesenia. There are a lot of people that are missing. Yeah. Salvador Alfonso. Now, okay. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Now, okay. How about you, Sara? Uh, Sara, how many kids do you have? How many kids do you have? Three. Three? Not ah, really. Three. Ah, you got three. What are the what are the uh -huh. six? Eleven to sixteen. Ah, okay, very good. So you got your complete family. Now nah, that's good. With three kids. <laughs> so three. Now three sufficient. Tres varones. Nah. Wow, really? That's really nice. Yeah, ahí nos quedamos. Ahí tú, ya. Sí, vaya a ser que por buscar la, la, la bebé vayan a ser otro varoncito. <laughs> Me voy a resignar a ser gran mother. Yeah, Pero right. todavía no. De aquí a unos que. Unos que. Otros 15, otros 16. <laughs> Pero ya sí. Yeah, like something like that. <laughs> vale. Okay. All right. All right, Sara. Uh, let's see. Stephanie Lisette, no here. William Alberto, no here. Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Yeah, I saw Joanny there. And Stephanie Janet. All right, Stephanie's not here, right? Okay, good people. What are we gonna do? Like right now, we're gonna start with the things that we got for tonight. Ah, oh. <laughs> okay, Roxana. Ah, you got it here. Okay, give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the attendance list. Where is it, Roxana? Just on time, Roxana. Okay, let's continue. I think this is good. Okay, what we are going to do today is just basically a general feedback from all the topics that we have been discussing during the week. So today is that general feedback about most of the topics. So today we're gonna have a review and practice of all that. That is the topic for this video conference. Let's remember that with this video conference, we are finishing week number two. Okay, so tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, we are starting week number three. Okay, so para este día, si recordamos, básicamente tenemos el desarrollo de uh, El midterm, no sé si ya lo completaron. I don't know if you, if you finished it already. Yo ya lo hice. No, okay, perfect. Who else did it? Porque los que no lo han hecho lo podemos hacer después del, uh, de la clase. Okay, it is really important for us to finish porque ahora mismo, uh, digamos, a más tardar a, a más tardar a medianoche, yo voy a tener que subir eh, sus notas ya. Yeah. Eh, al, al cuadro de notas eh, para ser enviado a Insafor. So, please, for the ones who has not finished that, that exam and, and the um, homework number five, let's do it after class, okay? Let's finish after class that, that thing. Igual, más adelante vamos a ver quiénes, quiénes son 
los que no lo han hecho y quienes lo han hecho. Los vamos ahí a, a exhibir, como dice Ludovico. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Uh, as I told you, what we're going to have today is just a general feedback from everything. Okay. As a part of the class agenda that we're going to have is like, we're going to have a review from the previous topics. Vamos a tener un repaso general de los temas principales que estuvimos viendo durante toda la semana número dos a temas que supongo que ya tenemos in our brain. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to ask a uh, strike questions. Then we're going to do some uh, series of exercises. Luego vamos a pasar al manual que tenemos una serie de ejercicios por completar. Okay, in there that we haven't finished. All right. And as I told you, we're going to be working on the manual. That's pretty much what we have. Okay. So like we don't have like a lot of points to cover in this, in this section. But we have a lot of practice to do, okay? And let's start with the practice. Vamos a comenzar con algo que estuvimos, estuvimos hablando hace un par de días. The differences between personal and personal. Who can tell me what is personal and what is personal? I need a volunteer to tell me. What do you understand by personal and by personal? Personal is uh, a, a group uh, of people um, and personal is uh, individual. Now, nah, okay, very good. Uh, something individual, right? Okay, all right, got it. Any other idea? Ever, I want an example using the word personal. Okay, teacher, personal, personal or personal? Uh, uh -huh. I want one example using the word personal. For when, when the definition of the personal is when we try to refer to the a group of people working the company um, and the personal is when we have to do something about everything for personal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and okay. uh -huh. One example of personal, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, for, in the company, eh, how, how do you say contratando? Eh, hire a new person. Hire. Hire. Hire new personal. Oh, okay. All right. That's uh, personal or personnel? Personal. Mm, okay, very good. All right. Okay, All right. thank you. Thank you, Ever. Thank you. Yes, remember, as Eric and Ever were saying, personal is when we refer to something that belongs to us, okay? like something personal from each person, from one individual person. And personnel, that is different. Why? Because in that case, we are representing a group, okay? a group of people. Okay, good. Let's continue. So we got in here. Look at this. Uh, Nubia, help me out reading this one. Uh, personal is an adjective meaning of relating to or affecting the person. Ah, okay, very good. Personal is an adjective, meaning of relating to or affecting the person, right? So what does it mean? It means that it belongs to those affections 
or relationship that a person might have, an individual might have, okay? We got an example, all right? And for this example, I want Sara to help me out reading. Uh, personal programs are affecting her. Ah, okay, very good. Personal problems are affecting her. There you go. Problemas personales la están afectando. You see? Something internal. Proper for, from one individual. Ya es algo propio de un individuo. Okay? Like the, from individual people. All right. This is different. Uh, Salvador, help me out reading this part. First, uh, personal problems are Preparing people uh, themselves. Themselves or a collection of people. Okay. Personal is a noun referring to people themselves or a collection of people. Ah, entonces la palabra personal es un nombre que se refiere a a, per a personas, okay, o un grupo de personas. Right, like talking about themselves. We got an example of it. Right. Uh, let's see. I want this example uh to be read by Joanny. Help me out, Joanny. My company's personal is very responsible. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, Joanny. My company's personal is very responsible. What does it mean? That they are good on what they are doing, okay? Now, do we understand the differences between personal and personal? Ahora bien, ¿entendemos la diferencia entre personal and personal? Or do we have any questions? Do we have any question related to this? No, okay. Yo no entiendo mucho, teacher. Ah, okay, all right. Personal. Personal means something that belongs to you, Diana. Something for your own, okay? Like, for example, when you share your information, like, like you might say, my name is like Diana Gabriela Martinez, blah, blah, blah. I live in San Salvador. My, I have a driver's license. I have one baby, blah, blah, blah. What are you doing in that case? You are sharing your personal information. Personal means algo personal, algo propio, okay? Something only for you. Okay. Personal is uh -huh. a group of people, not only you. It's a group of people that works in a specific place or a company, all right? So personal belongs to personal de trabajo, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, or any other activity group, all right? That is personal, okay? Uh, okay. Un grupo de, o un equipo de trabajo que está enfocado con, a, a un mismo fin. Right, that is that is like 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 personal, right? Oh, I see, entendí. Okay, yeah, we're good. Remember, Thank personal, you. personal, something individually that belongs to us. Personnel, a group of people in a company. Okay. Very good. Let's Thank you. Continue. Okay, you're sure. welcome. Uh huh. If I say. Uh, can you lend me your personal car? Yeah, you can say like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can put it like that. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's let's go on. Now, vocabulary related to the company. What is the most common vocabulary that we can find when we talk about a company? Tell me. Uh, and for that, I want Fatima to help me out. Fatima, give me an example of a vocabulary related to a company. What is the most common vocabulary that we have for a company, Fatima? 
clase de los estudios, ¿no? Yes. Eh, un ejemplo, no nada remember. Más. No, no. Just, just one example of uh, vocabulary related to the company. ¿Cuál es el vocabulario más común que podemos encontrar en una compañía? For example, on the, top, on the top of a company, what do we have on the top? We got the general manager. That is vocabulary related to the company, okay? We got the general manager. What else do we have, Fatima? Son como los departamentos, o, o se está refiriendo a... Everything, everything, todo. Todo lo relacionado a una compañía. Es like vocabulario en general, Fatima. I want you to give me a, a, at least three examples. No, no recuerdo. No, o sea, no. Porque yo le podría decir department financial. Financial department. Ajá. Ajá, what else? Purchase department. Ah, okay. All right. What else? I know. Only one more, Fatima. Marketing department. Okay, okay. You were you were on on, on those things, all right? Usted se fue más por más, más que todo por la línea de departamentos. Okay, good. Yeah, I mean, when I was like asking vocabulary related to the company, Fatima, is vocabulary relacionado a una empresa? ¿Qué incluye en una empresa? Like for example. What is your occupation in the place that you work? If you are a cashier, so that's vocabulary related to the company. Okay, if you work uh, as a general manager, that's vocabulary. If you were in a, what? In a resources department, that's, that's the place where you work, you see? Entonces, cada una de las funciones que desempeña cada departamento o cada persona, it has a name. So, okay. y ese es vocabulario relacionado a la compañía, ¿ok? No, yo creí que se estaba refiriendo como al rubro de cada No, that, de that cada is, ajá, that is, no, that is, no ajá, in that case it's like something related to the ajá, to the industry but like right ajá. now we are coaching that ¿ok? Yes, not yet not yet, ok what we have here ah, we got, this is another one, let's see, industry manufacturer Those are vocabularies that belongs to a company. Entonces, este vocabulario básico que solemos manejar, ¿dónde? Dentro de una empresa, de una compañía. Okay. So, we got uh, industry, manufacturer. Then we got staff. Have you ever heard that word? Have you ever heard that word before? Staff. What is a staff? ¿Qué significa la palabra staff for you people? Uh, personal. Personal. Ah, ok, very good. That is like the personal of, of something, ok? Es básicamente el personal. Es like when we say personal, right? En este caso, staff y personal vendrían a ser sinónimos. Remember that, ok? All right, we got another one. Uh, networking. Ok. Networking and expertise. Is enough. Networking and expertise. What is networking? What is networking, people? Can somebody tell me what is it? Because uh, that 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 word we we were discussing that word yesterday. If I'm not wrong. Yes. Oh. Ah, okay, very good. That's like redes, right? Okay, very nice. And uh, the next one, what is it? Expertise. What is that? Uh, 
Have you ever heard that word before? ¿Habían escuchado esa palabra antes? What is it, Eric? Es, es como una revisión, una pericia. Este, sí, básicamente. Nah, ok. So, hey, una pericia significa revisión. Mm. O es como una auditoría, ¿no? O una evaluación. Nah, sí. that, that is pericia. Es que yo, yo, se lo, yo lo asocio porque usted, un vehículo lo lleva a experticia. Ahí es donde le, le chequean todo, ¿verdad? Le, le revisan que todos los datos sean correctos, que esté en último funcionamiento. Nah, ok, ok. Por eso lo asocio. That's why you associate that one. Ok. So, but, but that, that is like an evaluation, right? Yeah, something that I call like related to a pericia or expertise in English that is related to, to that, to a general um, management in that case or a general evaluation about something, okay? That is pretty much what we understand for uh, expertise. Okay, let's continue. So we got branch. All right, uh, let's see, branch, Natalie, what, what were we saying that the word branch mean? What is branch, Natalie? Mm, branch, que no era teacher como sucursal. Ah, si no me there you go, very good. Sí. Yes, that is a sucursal. Ya de que me acuerdo. Yeah. You got a good memory. That's good. Okay. Pero también, también dijo que era rama, ¿verdad, Ticho? Yes, algo que no esté relacionado ya, a, digamos, a, al aspecto de, de la industria, ¿ok? Or companies. Yes, significa rama de un árbol. Right? Just, just for you to remember. Then we got another word. Guests. What is guest for you, people? Como invitados o invitadas. Nah, okay, very good. Yeah, it comes like the <clears throat> word invitados. Okay, there you go, guests. All right, now we got headquarters. Listen up, headquarters. And uh, for this one, I want Ana Maria to tell me what is it? What is a headquarter, Ana Maria? Como las filiales o la principal? Uh, we don't know, Ana Maria. Ay, está tomando una segunda opinión, miren. Ah. <ríe> Come on, Ana María. Es que hoy, hoy, hoy mis, mis capacidades andan, estoy desde las 4 de la tarde acostada, teacher. Wow. Me puse bien wow. mal del dolor de cabeza. Really? O sea, ya no seguí trabajando y, y créanme que no tengo ganas de estar en la clase. Oh my God, really, Ana María, you got problems. De... Me dolía la mitad de la cara, no sé por qué. Uy, tenga cuidado con eso. Ah, be careful with that. Because sometimes, like, when, when that happens, it's because something really hard is going to happen. Okay, so be careful. But no me acuerdo, ¿cuál es? Yeah, headquarter is like, eh, es como cuando nosotros le llamamos la casa matriz o las oficinas mm -hmm. principales. All right? Mm -hmm. That's the headquarters. Yes. Okay. Very good, let's continue. Small talk. Do you remember about this from yesterday? What were we talking about a small talks? What was on a small talk ever? It's like a short conversation. Okay, basically it's a short conversation, right? Asking about something. 
tal y como estuvimos haciendo la práctica ayer justo antes de irnos, okay? That was a very productive practice, if I remember. So basically that is a, a, a small talk. Okay, so basically this is part of the vocabulary that we have, okay? Entonces, esta es parte del vocabulario que estuvimos viendo con relación a las compañías or enterprises, as you want to call them, right? That is part of what we were discussing during, during the week. Okay, now let's continue with all the things. But I don't know if you're taking notes about that. No sé si todavía están tomando notas sobre ello. Finish. Ah, you finish. finish? Okay, perfect. I guess everybody feels right. All right, uh, Mrs. Urrutia, are you still copying the information? Ah, okay. Let me know when you finish. Hey, hoy se ve bañadita de nuevo, pero no se mojó, verdad? Mrs. Urrutia. Hola. Hoy sí no se bañó. No, hoy no. Ah. Hoy no está lloviendo. Ya, yeah, now it's not raining. Ok, good. Let's go on, let's move on. It's done. Ok, perfect, let's move on. Ok, good. If you remember, uh, at the beginning of the week number two, we were practicing the simple present information question. Okay, do you remember something about this? Using information questions as simple present. When do we use the simple present? Tell me, any volunteer. When do we use the simple present? When do we utilizamos el presente simple? Like information questions, usando preguntas informativas. In what cases do I use? Can somebody tell me? Cuando hablamos de eventos eh, pasados. Pasados o en presente? Ah, presente. <laughs> yes, this is a simple oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a simple yes. present. Okay. All right, yeah. yeah, when we talk about events, right? Or when we ask very specific information about something. Okay, let's, let's, let's bring up the short definition that we had. Eso es parte de lo que estuvimos comp eh, compartiendo la clase eh, cuando estuvimos hablando de este tema, okay? This is just a review. Diana, help me read this part, please. Information questions are used as specific information about a person, place, or situation. Ah, okay, thank you, Diana. Yeah, information questions are used to ask specific information about a person, place, or situation. ¿Qué significa eso? Ah, que preguntas informativas son necesarias para preguntar o pedir información específica sobre una persona, lugar o situación. If you remember, we were just practicing two structures or two WS questions. It was what and it was where. That was it. So let's give out the examples. Uh, let's see. Roxana. Help me out reading this question, please. Where did you work? Okay, where do you work? Natalie. I work in Super Selectos. Okay, very good. I work in Super Selectos. There you go. So what does it mean? Acá, como es primera persona, el verbo no sufre ningún cambio, okay? Like the bird that we use in the question, that's the exactly the same bird that we use in the answer. Why? Because it is first person. Okay, Rosa, 
Are you there? Rosa. Hi, Hi Rosa. Can you read this question for me, Rosa? Okay. What does she do? Okay. What does she do? Okay, related to the job. Uh, Jonathan, read the answer. She supervises the production department. Ah, okay. Thank you, Jonathan. Yes, in this case, remember, depending on the action that we do, that is the type of verb that we're going to write. Dependiendo de la acción que estemos haciendo o vayamos a hacer, así va a ser el verbo que vayamos a usar, ok, con preguntas. Eh, en la cual el verbo do resalta como verbo principal, en, como en este caso. All right, what does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Now, you see, she supervises the production department. Supervisa. Okay. A uh, la producción o oh, los departamentos de producción. All right. Uh, I, I don't know if you have any question related to this. No sé si tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta con relación a este tema. No. Nah. Okay. Good. Just for you to bring up the ideas. I want you to help me out with one example. No necesitan escribir. Quiero que me creen un ejemplo de pregunta en su cabecita. Solo pregunta. Ya sea primera o tercera persona. Only the question because we're going to practice in here. Cuando ya la tengan, me lo, hagas, me lo hacen saber, por favor. For, for you to practice. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Perfect. You got it? Everybody? Fatima? You had it? Yes or no, Fatima? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, you haven't finished. <laughs> no, 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 Fatima. Okay, good. Sara, you finished? Ah, okay, she says no. Yes, she said. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> yes, I never like, like, like that. Okay, Eric, I want you to ask your questions to Sara, and Sara must give an answer. Sara, um, what do you think about the Bitcoin? <laughs> okay, what do you think about Bitcoin? Que todavía me estaba entrando llamada de los clientes, ¿verdad? Uh. Eric, si gusta, ya corté. <laughs> Hola. Ah, ok, Sara. Okay. Repeat. Uh, what do you think about Bitcoin? En español, please. <laughs> ¿Qué, ¿Qué piensa usted? ¿Qué piensa sobre el, uh, sobre el Bitcoin? Sobre el Bitcoin. Pues no me gusta la idea. La idea. No. Um, ok, en in inglés. I think, repeat. I think, I think. It is. It is. A bad idea. A bright idea. Ok, very good. Yes. I think it's a bad idea. Ah, no me gusta, right? Like, it's not a good idea. Ok, very good. Thank you, Eric. Now, Sara. I want you to give your answer, uh, ask your uh, uh, question to Joanny. And Joanny must provide a question, I mean, an answer. Okay, Joanny, uh, what do you do for a living? Okay. Joanny. Okay. Repeat the question, Sarah. What do you do for a living? I mean, what do you do? A living. For a living. For. Joanny? 
¿A qué te dedicas? You are cleaning. Yes, Joanny. <laughs> yes, Joanny. It, it, it's like, it's like uh, what is your profession? Mm, I, I work in the leader. Oh, okay. I work in yeah. Lido. No, okay. Yeah, you can even ask like uh, answer like that. Inclusive puede responder así, eh? no problem. Very good. Okay. Really nice. Okay, Joanny. Uh, thank you, Sara. Now, Joanny, I want you to ask your question to Rubia. Um cualquier pregunta, verdad, teacher? Yes, unless the question is a simple present, you can do it in third or first person, no problem. Okay. Um, what does she cook? Okay, very good. She cooks um, hamburger with fried potato. Nah, okay. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, Joanny, thank you. Nubia, I want you to ask the question that you have to Eric. Eric, Eric, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is the hamburger. The hamburger? <laughs> <laughs> Básicamente todo, ¿verdad? Pero... Decidamos hamburger. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to say a big torta. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the, like the Mexican tortas that sells in here, like, like too big. Demasiado grandes. Hay unas que son bastante grandes. Yes. Claro. Vale la pena. <laughs> That's why we're fat. <laughs> Por eso estamos. No, no estamos. vale la pena, Eric. I do it every day. <laughs> okay. Con unos let's, chilitos let's continue. Oof, that's too much. Okay, let's continue porque me va a dar hambre. Ever, <laughs> ask your question to Fatima, please. Okay, uh, Fatima. Where do you like to go on your vacation? I, I go in in house my I go to I go to uh -huh. in house my grandmother a la casa de su abuela Yes. Okay, I would like to go or I like I, to go, repeat. I like to go to my grandmother's to my grandmother house. House. Okay. Thank you ever. Now Fatima, I want you to ask your question to Mrs. Posada. <laughs> she looks angry and she's like <laughs> Vaya. Stephanie ¿Sí? where does she eat dinner very good uh, she eat, mm, uh, bread and dinner She eats a bread a pan, <laughs> with eggs. Eggs, well, is where where does she eat dinner? Eat ah, mm. donde donde. Okay. Where does she eat dinner? Donde ella va a cenar, algo así, donde ella cena. 
sí. Uh -huh. eh, She eats dinner in the restaurant. She eats dinner in the restaurant. Ok, uh -huh. very good, Stephanie. Thank you. Y Fátima <ríe> cada vez iba alzando más la voz. Like, yeah, yo me iba a pegar. Yo me iba a pegar. Es que hasta se iba a acercando. No. Hasta se iba a hacer pasa... la cámara así como. Where? <ríe> no, lo que pasa es que pienso que no me escucha porque no tengo audífonos, sino que es solo con él. Audio de la compra. <laughs> ok, 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 Fatima, thank you. All right, Mrs. Posada, I want you to ask your question to Mrs. Urrutia. Ok. <laughs> ok, este, where do you live? Is I it? live in San Salvador. <laughs> That was Either so you. easy. Oh my God. Yeah. No, Thank man. you, Mr. Posa Mrs. Posada. <laughs> ah, La hice fácil, yeah. teacher. Yes. So, so easy for her. Ya oh, por eso con, con ella, sí. Con ella, sí. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. Es que no fue Eric, por eso no la puse. Ah, that's why, that's why. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Uh, Ruti, I want you to get, read your question for Diana. Okay, Diana, what do your favorite country for live? Repeat the question. What do your favorite country for live? What is your favorite country for living? Ah, okay, what is? Perdón. Hmm? <laughs> My favorite country. Quiero um, ver. Calatenango. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, no, country, country, not department, country. Ah, uh, excuse me, Paris, entonces. <laughs> yes, Diana. Uh, I, I, I just heard Chalatenango. <laughs> no, but the country, Diana, the country. Me preguntó que cuál era mi ciudad donde vi favorita, ¿verdad? No. Ah, su tu país, país favorito para vivir. Exacto. Ah, ok. ¿Cuál sería? My favorite country to live. Uh, Holanda. <laughs> Holland. Yeah. yeah. Ok. Holland. Good country to live. I would choose Switzerland. Okay, Diana, good. Thank you, Mrs. Urrutia. Now, Diana, I want you to ask your question to Natalie. Natalie is very impatient to participate. Natalie, what do your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is watch TV. Nah, okay. Okay. Watching TV. <laughs> Casi no lo hago, teacher, pero cuando lo hago me clavo. <laughs> And talking to Mrs. Rutia. <laughs> ok. <laughs> right. No problem. Eh, eh, yo le voy a hacer una Diana, ¿verdad? No. You're going to ask one no. question to Salvador. Salvador, are you there? <clears throat> Okay. Where do you work? Easy question for Salvador. That is a very easy. <laughs> Salvador, was, were you sleeping, Salvador? <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, continue, continue. Listen to the question from Natalie. Salvador. Uh, where do you work? Ah, I work in Ferretería Lemos. Hey, Ferretería Lemos. Does Ferretería Lemos has a, has a, has a branch in Usulutan? Es franquicia. Ah, ok. Ya, yeah, porque hace, sí. hace como dos días fueron a comprar ahí unos materiales acá de la casa. Ya, hay ferretería. Interesante. Teacher y ferretería se diría lo mismo. Ah, sí, ferretería. Ah, no, eh, it's a hardware. Hardware. Yes. Hardware. No se pone como nombre propio. Ah, no, because in that case, eh, Lemus, it would be the only one that is written in, in English and in Spanish. Pero ahí, ferretería, yeah, it changes completely. All right. Yeah, like the word ferretería, that, 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 that would change. All right, from Spanish into English. All right, Salvador, I want you to ask your question to Ana Maria. una frase así el salvador porque no me voy a poner el gran el gran que Ana María la gran pregunta I mean something something short yes y le fue mucho está pensando no es que es que me había levantado entonces cuando... apúrese uh -huh. <laughs> what is your favorite food? Ah, um, that's easy, Salvador. Come no, vaya, ya estuvo allí, vaya. Déjeme, yo voy a contestar. Es la pregunta que me hace Salvador. Okay, go for it. My favorite food is um macaroni. Sushi. Ah, okay. No, sushi. Sushi. <laughs> sushi. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Ah, interesting. <laughs> okay, Ana Maria. All right, I want you to ask your question to Roxana. Roxana, are you there? Ah, yeah, she's there. Um, the última teacher. Ah, no. Ana Maria is going to she ask you a question. Super, super bye. She is going to ask you a question. Ana María is going to ask you a question, Roxana. Yo, Roxana. Roxana, where, I, uh, where do you exercise? Um, I am not. I not exercise. Okay. 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 <laughs> I, I do not exercise. <laughs> no, okay. She's honest. <laughs> that is honest. Okay, Roxana. I want you to ask your question to Rosa del Carmen. Are you there, Rosa? Yeah. Rosa, what color is your hair? Uh, what? Really? What color is your hair, Rosa? Ah, car. My car is color gray. gray. What color is that? I should be done. Ah, gray. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, gray. Great. Okay, there My you go, Rosa. Car is color gray. Okay, Rosa, thank you. All right, uh, now, I, uh, and Roxana. I want Rosa to ask a question to William. Okay. What is your favorite movie? Okay, what is your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is Grow Out. 
Knockout. Na good movie, man. That's a good movie. There you go. Ah, uh, thank you, Rosa. Now, William, I want you to ask your question to hey, what is ever? Ever. Um. Uh, what do you enjoy in your free time? Okay, very good. Ever, what do you enjoy in your free time? Ever, are you there? Okay, I see you. Ah, yeah, he's there. You got the microphone off, Ever. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I come back. <laughs> okay. All right, William, repeat the question because I think Ever didn't listen. Okay. Um... Where do you enjoy your free time? Uh, usually, I enjoy them in my free time or uh, uh, to outdoor. It's outdoor? like a work outdoor, yeah. Yeah, just some park or some mountain I like to go to with my family in my free time. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. All right. So thank you, William. Thank you, Ever. Ah, that's that's really cool. Outdoor activities are 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 the best in a somehow, right? And depending on the place, because I'm not gonna say like <laughs> I'm gonna have an outdoor uh, treat to to to. What is the north? No, no, no. Forgot about it. Okay, let's continue. Listen up. Before getting on to the next series of structures, okay. After following up this thing, I am going to stop a little bit here because it's like 9.08 and I need to, 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 to get the attendance list, okay? And then we're going to continue. Permitan un momento, dejar de compartir, nada más paso asistencia y continuamos. Oh my God. Okay, uh, Ana Claribel. Hey, we're not here. Huh? Ah, yeah, she's there. <laughs> hey, who's to a tiempo, Ana? Just on time. Present, entonces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Ahora usted es la que está a tiempo, justo a tiempo, justo antes que mencione. No como Natalie, que ahora se pierde. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, Ana Maria? Present. Okay, Ana Maria. Y Ana Gabriela? Present. No, okay, very good. Eric Guillermo? Present, teacher. Very good. Ever de Jesus? Present, teacher. Okay, Fatima Alejandra? Present. All right. Flor Idalia is not here. No. Hilmar Cruz. Hey, Hilmar didn't show up today. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Uh, Jonathan has problems. Uh, so he's going to connect later on. Carla Benazir. And we have Carla here. Nah, okay. I thought Carla was here. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, perfect. Romeo Alexis. Present. Nah, okay, good, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen. Present. All right, excellent. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Alfonso. Present. 
Ah, ok. Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Ah, ok, very good. William Alberto. Present. All right, excellent. Joanny Noemi. Present. All right, nice. And the last one is Stephanie Janet. Present. Okay, let's continue with this. Okay, just, just, just to continue, remember, this is only a feedback, okay? Esta nada más es una retroalimentación, okay, of, of the main topics that we have been discussing. La estructura del presente simple, ¿cuál era? Ah, check this out. Esto nada más para que lo recordemos, okay? What is, what is this? What is this about? Look, in present continuous information questions, we got WH word. Generalmente utilizamos las WH word. Y si recordamos las WH word, ¿cuáles son? We got what, where, when, why, who, which. Okay, those are the WH words. After the WH word, what do we have? Ah, we have the auxiliary verb. Do or does, depending on the on the subject. If it is do, we can conjugate do with I, you, we, and they, or plural nouns. And uh, is is conjugated with with what? I mean, does is conjugated with what? With he, she, or it, or singular nouns. Like for example, if I say Diana, if I say uh, I don't know Salvador. That is only one person, okay? Entonces, en ese caso usamos does. Remember that. After that, we got the subject. Ah, después del auxiliar que ocupamos, we need a subject. Necesitamos un sujeto. All right? The one that does the action. Luego de ello, ¿qué necesitamos? Base form of the verb. Ah, el verbo en forma base. Okay, what does it mean as base form? It means that we have to set up the verb in base form in third person. Recordemos que para terceras personas, como ya modificamos el verbo auxiliar de do a does, ya no es necesario que coloquemos right, el verbo principal eh, con algún tipo de modificación, ya sea S, E, S o I, E, S. We don't need that. After the main verb, what do we need? Ah, we need a complement. Just to make the question more specific. Example. Ana Garcia, read this question, please. Where does Marta send email? Okay, where does Marta send email? Thank you. Romeo, read the answer. Um, she sends emails uh -huh. to other branches. To other? Branches. Thank you, Romeo. Yes, in that case, remember. ¿Qué hacemos acá? En la pregunta llevamos das. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos una tercera persona y alguien en singular, ¿ok? Y el, y el verbo send está en forma base. Ah, pero si nos fijamos en la respuesta y el verbo send lleva una S. Why? Porque en la respuesta sencillamente no tenemos verbo auxiliar. Por eso. Ok. Only for that. Eric, don't fall asleep. Read this question, Eric. <laughs> Créame que tengo sueño, Richard. What do you do? Ah, okay. Yeah, me too, man. You're sleepy too. Ah, okay. What do you do? Rosa, read this question. I mean, the answer. I try new employees. Train. I try new employees. Okay, thank you. I train new employees. So that is personal, right? That's why we got the base form of the bird. 
Okay, so that's pretty much what we have for present simple. Now let's jump into simple past statements. Okay, that is that was the other topic that we were doing. Este era el otro tema que estuvimos hablando, okay? Y simplemente vamos a dar un pequeño review. Simple past statements, okay? Like I went to work today. Fui a trabajar ahora. Okay? That is a past activity that we did this day. So, ¿cómo identificamos que una oración está en pasado? Ah, cuando es oración positiva, lo identificamos por el verbo. Ok. For the verb. If it is regular, it will be even better. Like that one. Mrs. Urrutia, read the second example. I received my payment yesterday. Ajá. Something special happened there, Mrs. Urrutia. Is that example correct? Um, Only tell me, yes or no? Mrs. Urrutia? I think... Uh -huh. <laughs> Is that correct? If yes or no? ¿Está correcta esa oración? ¿Sí o no? No. Ajá. Le What? hace falta la D en recibo. Are you sure? ¿Estás segura? Yes, because it's is the simple past mm. and the, the verb receive is está en en o sea el verbo está normal <ríe> tiene Ajá. que llevar la d para hacer un uh, para hablar en pasado porque es un ver, verbo re, ay no ahí sí ya me perdí <ríe> ya yeah, yo me perdí. está bien yo bien Yes, that is a regular verb. Yes, regular. Ah, pensé que no lo iba a notar, Mrs. Urrutia. Yes. In here, what do we add? We add only the letter D in here. Received. Write down the D in there. Okay. Receive. Listen, listen. La pronunciación de este verbo, okay. La pronunciación en presente simple es Receive termina en B, ok, en B, like in U, U, V, right? V, receive, ok. In simple past, that is like in a somehow kind of different, because that is like received with D at the end, received, you see? Una termina, ok, la de la cuando usamos en presente simple, Nuestros labios superiores, eh, nuestros dientes superiores tocan, ok, nuestro labio inferior. Receive, you see, the position, ok. That is in simple present, but in simple past, the pronunciation is with D. La pronunciación en el pasado simple termina como en una D. Received. Casi no se escucha muy, muy, mucho la diferencia de ella, pero sí lo hay en cuanto a pronunciación, ok, al final de la palabra. Right, uno termina la dental, right, received, right, and the other one ends in B sound, okay? That is completely different. Ah, uh, what do I have here? Give me a second. Okay, let's see, let's continue. William, help me read the, sec uh, the third example, please. Okay, uh, she decide decided, to quit, uh -huh. decided to quit in her company. Very good. She decided <coughs> to quit in her company. What does the word quit mean? ¿Qué significa quit? Rápido. No. Ah, callar, callar, callar. 
much. No. Renunciar. Yes, renunciar. Quit means renunciar. Especially to our companies, right? Es como que si decimos, ay, odio levantarme temprano. I'm going to quit. Qué galán fuera, ¿verdad? <laughs> But that's not going to happen. Pero eso no sucederá nunca. Anyways, let's continue. All right, Fatima, read the next one. He called his clients this morning. All right, he called his client this morning. Okay, cold, that's the pronunciation cold. of that word, cold. Okay, very good. Natalie? They bought a, a new car. Ah, okay, very good. They bought a new car. Okay, what have we got there? We got the simple path of the verb buy in there. Okay, that is the simple path of the verb buy. Both. There you go. Bien, entonces acá lo que teníamos era una serie de ejemplos, okay, usando el pasado simple de los verbos. Right into 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 context. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now what are we gonna do here? Questions to answer. We've got a series of questions in here for you, people. These series of questions are for you. What are we going to do here? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá? Quiero que le demos respuesta algo corto a estas preguntas. In simple past. Remember that. That is in simple past. Example number one. Vamos a hacer la pregunta uno. Como a modo de ejemplo. It says number one. Where did you go yesterday? Okay, where did you go yesterday? I can say, I went to my house, or, or let's put something easier. I went to the gym yesterday, you see? And I got an answer here. Y acá, Prácticamente tengo una respuesta a esa pregunta. I went to the gym yesterday. All right. Now, let's do the other ones, please. Hagamos las demás, por favor. And let me know when you finish. Just let me know, please, as soon as you finish. All right. In the meantime, I'm coming for water. Give me a second, please. Let's do, let's do, let's do the answers. Give me a second.
All right, I'm back. Let me know when you finish, right? Or if, you, if you have any question, just let me know. Si tienen alguna duda, igual me lo hacen saber. Does everybody finish? Yes. Okay, perfect, William. Let me know when you finish, people. All right, who got disconnected? Who got disconnected? We got you know. Who else finished? ¿Quién más ha terminado ya? All right, very good, Ever. Ah, okay, very good, Salvador. I already finished.
Finish. Nah, okay. Thanks, Stephanie. All right, who else has already finished? Novia, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Nah, okay. All right, Mrs. Rutia, you too? Nah, okay, good. Nah, you turn on the camera, nah. Okay, good. Let's continue. Hmm. Let's see how we're going to do this. All right, we got uh, two, four, five questions. Okay, five questions on a row. Only five questions. What are we going to do with this? We're going to uh, practice them all. For example, uh, I must start with William. William. What did she do last week? What did she do last week? Yes. She, she did. Uh -huh. uh, she did cook for your heart. For her husband last week. Ah, uh, okay, all right, all right. Uh, in that case, William, vamos a eliminar dear <coughs> y vamos a colocarle ed al verbo cook. That would be the way. Okay. Yeah, like like a startup, like an startup. It would be. Okay, like this. En este caso sería el verbo principal cook. Exactly. No, no, no do. Exactly. Como está hablando de cocinar, entonces el verbo principal sería cook. Ya did no tendría relevancia ahí. Okay. Yes. There aunque you go. haya dicho, aunque haya dicho she did. Yeah, eh, that's why, that's why, porque como en la pregunta, llevamos did, pero como nada más como verbo vaya, auxiliar, entonces en ese caso, if you want to, if you want to use an extra verb, si usted quiere hacer un, un verbo extra o quiere llevar un verbo extra, uh -huh. el verbo más apropiado ahí sería, like, prepare, like, preparar, prepare. prepared, ¿Ah? En, en, entonces tengo que buscar el verbo más que sobresalga exactamente a, que, a que más me refiere para ponerlo en el pasado exactamente entonces okay. ese es el que funciona siempre como el verbo principal el que más sobresale eh, digamos el que menciona la acción principal y como en este caso estamos hablando de cocinar el verbo cook es el que tiene que ir con ed en ese caso en pasado. Mm, okay. Yes. All right. Very good. That's that's the way. All right. Nice. William, I want you to ask question number three to ever. Okay. 
Wadi Ethan Les Mau. Okay, very good. Okay, he sent it a present for your wife with her brother. Read again, Will. Uh, uh, ever. He sent a present for your wife with her brother. I'm gonna write it down uh, because I'm a little bit confused. Okay. He sent a present for, I don't know. You got it like this? Will be you, your wife or his, or his wife with his brother. All right, Ever, pero la pregunta la tiene, la, la respuesta la tiene con ese verbo así. He sent it, yeah. Hmm. He sent Okay, uh, everybody, uh, is that the verb correct? No. Uh, no, teacher. Yeah. Sería solo con la S. All right, ever, en este caso, el verbo es irregular. Por lo tanto, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Look, send and. like this es el verbo, ok, en presente simple. ¿Qué hacemos para hacerlo pasado? Le eliminamos la D y colocamos T. Sent. Ok. Like. Uh, okay. Yeah, we were practicing that verb. If I'm not wrong, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Creo que fue antier. Lo estuvimos hablando sobre este verbo. Yeah. All right. He sent a present, right? A present. Uh -huh. For your wife. Okay, in this case, ever sería his wife. Para his su, wife. Para su esposa. Así quiso poner. Yes, only that. Okay. Nah, okay. Yes. yes. Entonces, yeah, en right. este caso sería his, porque como estamos hablando de él, para su esposa, su de él, okay. Sí, porque si dice your wife es como para tu esposa, pero ya no sería de él, sino que para la esposa de alguien más. De un tercero, de, de third person. Ajá, vaya. Como por ejemplo, si yo le digo, listen up, Eric sent flowers to your wife. Ah, en ese caso yo le estoy diciendo, Eric le envió flores a su esposa. A la suya, Ever. No a la de él, ¿ok? Entonces, esa es, esa es la, la diferencia de cuándo usar your y cuándo usar his. Ah, es diferente si yo digo, Eric sent flowers to his wife, ¿ok? A su esposa, de él. Ah, ese es diferente, ¿verdad? Right? Ya, yeah, entonces ahí no caemos okay. en la... Aclarele que ese ejemplo no me va a venir a cachimbiar. <risa> <risa> yes. justamente eso va a decir o sea que hay que prestar ya, ya, hay, que, ya, ya, hay, que, ya, ya. hay que prestar atención a esos detallitos ok eh, de no usar your cuando es tercera persona sino his o her no vaya a ser que hay un malentendido y pues Eric vaya a, 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 a inconsciente a ver a dónde Me va a enderezar la pierna. Ok. <laughs> ok. Ah, come on, Eddie. Don't be like that. All right, Ever. Thank you. Ever, I want you to well, repeat the, 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 the question number. Let me see. One, two. The question number four to Nubia. Ok. Uh, where did they talk last night? No, yeah, we don't listen to you. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, no problem. They, they told about the problem of your work. Read again, Nubia. They told one idea. 
uh -huh. about the problem of your work. Otra vez. Estamos hablando del verbo, uh, I mean, del, del subject they, de ellos. Ok, y usted tiene your en este caso, Nubia. Para mencionarlos a ellos, ok, y ahí ya no sería your, ok, sería their. They. Ah, ok. Yeah. Their. Su de ellos. Ok. Remember, in that case, their means to sue the ellos. They talk about the problem of their work. Nah, okay, very good. Now, question number five. I want to be you to read that question for Sarah. Okay, Sarah, who did you visit last year? Sara, you got the microphone off. Ay, lo siento. Yo no, bien emocionada. Yo no, bien emocionada. Um, um, I went to the visit my cousin house last year. No, okay, very good. I went to visit my cousin house last year. Excellent, Sara. Thank you. All right, now what are we gonna do again, Sara? I want you to read question number one for Natalie. Cualquiera, teacher. Number one. Number one. Ah, me está lloviendo y casi me escucha. Oh, uh, really? Natalie. Cool. Sí. Where did you go yesterday, Natalie? I went to the cine to the cine yesterday. To the cinema yesterday. Ah, uh, cinema yesterday. Okay. Thank you. Now Natalie, let's ask question number two, Fatima. Fatima. Okay, Fatima. So yeah, what did she do last week? <laughs> She traveled, she traveled the last week. She traveled last week. No, okay, yeah. very good. Thank you, Natalie. Now, Fatima, I want you to ask one question. All right, question number three to <laughs> Salvador. Okay. What did he send last month? Salvador, are you there? Repeat the question because she, I mean, he didn't listen. Okay. What did he send last month? He sent money to his family. Repeat. Money. Money. To his family. To my family. His family. His family. Ah, okay. Very good, Salvador. Salvador, I want you to ask one question. To Romeo. Romeo, who did you visit last year? No le escuché bien, teacher. ¿Cuál pregunta era? Eh, Salvador, se le escucha bien al fondo. Who did you visit last year? Who did you visit last year? Okay. I visited uh grandparents yes. grandparents uh -huh. Uh -huh. In... yes. last, last, last year, year. Uh -huh. sí. very good 
Good. Romeo, ask one question to Ana Maria. Cualquiera. Yes. Uh, what did he send last month? What did he send last month? Okay. Ana Maria. He sent uh, flowers uh, my mother. Ooh, to your mother. Ah, yeah. Nice. Okay, very good. Ana Maria, I want you to ask one question to Diana. Diana, are you there? Uh, Diana, who did you visit last last year? I visited to my cousin and grandfather. Okay, very good, Diana. All right, Diana. I want you to end up this series of questions to Mrs. Janet. Janet, where did they talk last night? Um, they they talk at a meeting or friend. No, okay, very good, Mrs. Janet. I want you to do that question to me. All right, uh, okay. let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it to Ana Garcia. You haven't participated, right? No. Okay, perfect. Let's go for it. To Anna. Okay. Who did you visit last year? Visit grandmother house. I visited. I I visit my grand my my grandmother house house. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Anna, now I want you to ask one question to me. What did he send last month? All right. He sent a dozen of boxers last month. Okay. Very good, Anna. Thank you. Let's continue with this. Okay, now, listen up. Esta parte les aparece en una página de su manual. Okay, así que para los que tienen el manual impreso, please open it up. In page, if I'm not wrong, this is page 27. 27 or 28. It's one of those, 27 or 28. The ones that got the, the, the manual, all right, in paper. Let's open it up and there is an indication here. What are we going to do in this case? ¿Qué vamos a hacer acá en este caso? Lo que vamos a hacer es ordenar estas preguntas. Okay? The questions over here are disorganized. We need to organize them. Vamos a ordenar la número uno a modo de ejemplo. De acuerdo a la estructura, okay? De acuerdo a la estructura, ¿qué es lo primero que va a ir en esa, en esa pregunta? Bill. 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 Yeah. Ok. Bill, and then? You. Ok, you. Enjoy. Enjoy the training. The training. Okay, very good. Did you enjoy the training? Y ahí tenemos la primer pregunta. Hagan las otras, las otras cuatro, por favor, and let me know when you finish. Let's do them. And let me know when you finish. Lo que pueden hacer es copiarlas ya de manera ordenada en el cuaderno los que no tienen el manual impreso. Y 
If you have any question, let me know. Si tienen alguna pregunta, me lo hacen saber. What were you doing, Rosa? Justamente apareció en la pantalla la palabra quit, como dice, renuncio. O fue sin querer. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, ok, ok. Creí que había sido agrede. No. Ah, ok. All right, just let me know when you finish the questions. Natalie, are you there? No, teacher, todavía no. Ah, okay, Natalie. Uh, since Carla did not show up today, ahora le tocaba los 10 minutos de feedback a Carla, okay? Mm -hmm. Pero en vista de que Carla no vino, y usted está acá, y usted es la próxima, Ahora le tocarían a usted, ¿ok? Y mañana ah, a Carla. Está bien, Tiche. Perfect. Ok, the ones who got here, los que estamos, de, los, de los que estamos acá, mientras terminan la tarea, la, 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 las preguntas, ¿quién me debe tarea y quién me debe el midterm? Yo solo le debo el examen, Tiche. Ok, good. Lo espero después Yo de clase. el examen, Tiche. Ok, very good. Lo espero después de clase, entonces. Teacher, expóngalo. Teacher, yo le debo el examen, pero tengo eh, complicación en algo porque no me da la opción de, de que está bueno o que está mal. Simplemente me tira en, como en rayita roja. Nah, eh. la, ah, la segunda actividad, pero no sé por qué, teacher. La actividad no me la Ah, no, no, la actividad es el examen. Porque, eh, como está dividido en cuatro bloques, ¿no? entonces el segundo bloque es el que, en donde hay que como ordenar las oraciones. Um, la intento hacer de una forma de otra, de otra, y igual siempre me pone rayita roja. Hmm. Ya vamos y a revisar eso. De... All right, ya vamos a revisar eso antes de irnos. Vaya. Yeah, we will see that. All right, let me know when you finish. Do you finish? You finish, everybody?
Uh, do you finish? Yan termino ya. I finished, pero no sé si está bien. Nada, que hay Google Check, ya la vamos a revisar. Sí. Does everybody else besides Nubia finish? Alguien más aparte de Nubia ha terminado? Finish. No, okay, very good, William. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good, Ever. Okay, good. I guess everybody has already finished. Uh, I'm gonna start with, look at this. Okay, uh, number two, William, can you please read number two for me? How is number two here? ¿Cómo nos quedará la número dos? Okay. Uh... <clears throat> the... Okay. Uh... The manager. All right. Okay, give me a second. The manager. Dimi attend the seminar. Does everybody have that? This one? Todos lo tenemos así? Yes, yo sí. Okay, very good. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Very good. Esa es una oración, no es una pregunta. So, excellent, William. Okay, Ever, read number three. Okay, correct me, please. The maintenance update their personal certifications. The maintenance update. Uh -huh. Their personal certification. Like this? No, personal. Ah, okay, personnel. All right, the maintenance. Okay, update. Okay, but with the updated. 
their personal certification. Does everybody have that? No, teacher. They maintain a personal. There you go. The maintenance. Like this? Yes. Update the certification. Okay. Does everybody, does everybody got this one? Todos la tienen así? No, teacher, yo lo hice distinto. A ver, ¿cómo la hizo, Eric? Es uh, their maintenance of their and no, the first uh, me equivoqué. Their personal update the maintenance certification. The personal updated their maintenance certification. Or the maintainer yes. person at their, their certification. You know what? Both ways are possible. In ese caso, de las dos maneras es posible. Okay, as William said, and as you said, Eric. Okay, both of them are correct. Cualquiera que tenga, cualquiera de las dos que tenga, está correcta. Okay, for everybody. Okay, thank you. Both of them make sense. All right, thank you to you, and thank you, William, and thank you, Eric. You did, I mean, ever. Very good. Uh, okay, number, let me see, number four, eh, Nubia. Uh, yo puse Deal Supervisor Exchange. Uh, okay, uh, read for me, read for me, read for me. Deal Supervisor The business business card. Like this? Mm -hmm. sí. Did supervisor exchange the business card? La edad, ¿alguien la tiene tal y como la tiene novia? No, why not? No, teacher. I put uh, the, the supervisor exchange, business cards. Very good, Eric. Yes, en ese caso, novia. Aquí como eh, aquí el que necesita el, el, el artículo es the supervisor, ¿ok? Y business card como es plural eh, es más probable que no lo lleve, ¿ok? Entonces acá vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio. La like idea. Did the supervisor exchange business cards? Very good. That's the way. Thank you, Eric, and thank you, Nubia. Ok, okay now let, the last one, Mrs. Urrutia. Yes, teacher. Okay. Um... All right. This is a, a, a negative statement. Una oración negativa. Okay. We're going to finish with this. Vamos a finalizar con esta, Mrs. Rutia. Tell me. Um, me ponchó porque fue la única que no, que no hice. Why? You told me that you, no le hallé, you, told me, you told me that you finished. ¿Por qué me tenía que preguntar esa? I didn't know. Usted me dijo que ya había terminado. No, yo no le di nada. ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? Ok, all right. All right, Mrs. Urrutia, no problem. Diana, are you there? Diana? All right, I think Diana is not there. 
Ana María. ¿Y por qué yo? Because I said so. <laughs> eh, mire, yo a mí, yo lo puse así. My work workers mate eh, did know the network conventions. Así lo puse yo. No sé si está bueno. All right, my workmates. Did, did, didn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, the network conventions. Así lo puse yo. Ahí corríjalo, okay. destrócenlo. My workmates didn't network. Okay, did it network? Ana María. Network conventions. Creo que me comí algunas palabras. Yes, ¿dónde es el at y dónde es el de? Están acostados ya porque ya es noche y se quieren ir a dormir. <risa> ok, ok, help me out. Ayudémosle acá a los que hemos terminado. ¿Es that correct? No. Why not, Eric? My Eric gourmet. Tenía que ser. My... Y yo no si la tengo, teacher. Uh, which one? Sí, como María, como. My, my workmate, workmate didn't the network at convention. Uh, vamos a ver cómo, cómo la tienen las demás. My workmate didn't at the network convention. Ah, pues solo el at me hace falta, no es, no es de buena. Dígame, Eric, le Eric, falta el at. No, porque ahí hasta Eric se fue también, porque no podemos poner. Después de didn't, no podemos poner at. Tiene que ser un verbo. What is it? Un verbo. Teacher, teacher yo tengo. Ajá. Pero no sé si está bueno. Ok, said it. My workmate didn't convention at the network. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Yes. Entonces no es así. My workmate didn't the network at convention. No, porque después de didn't no puede ir un artículo o no puede ir at. William, what do you have? Está bien sencillo. Mm. Esas palabras van juntas. William, tell me. Está esa uh, you got it like that? ¿Así la tiene, William? Mm, uh, así como está, sí, sí. Ajá, ¿y dónde pondría usted at y dónde pondría el de? Porque faltan And dos, the... dos palabritas, William. In the convention. At the convention? Mm -hmm. okay. There you go, William. Ahí está. Ok. Acá. At the convention. You see? There you go. A ver que le dije que esas, esas palabras se querían ir ya. Eso. <laughs> yes. Yes. Recordemos que ahí ya sería un complemento. Ok. Por lo tanto, tiene que ir al final. Nunca vayamos a colocar un artículo, ya sea a o the, eh, después de didn't. Recuerden que después de didn't tenemos que colocar un verbo principal. ¿Ok? Después del verbo principal, sí puede ir lo que sea. ¿Ok? Como a modo de complemento. All right. That's, that's uh, part of what we got right now. Ok. Good. Bien, eh, ok, debido al, al, al tiempo entonces nos vamos a quedar hasta acá. Ok, uh, voy a dejar de compartir pantalla y voy a pasar asistencia.
Give me a second. Okay. Ana Claribel. Present. No, okay. Ana Maria. Present. All right. Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. All right. Ever de Jesus. Present. Excellent. Fatima Alejandra. Present. All right. Floridalia. No here. Gilmar Cruz. No here. Jonathan Alexander. Ah, Jonathan, didn't connect. Carla Benazir. All right, neither Carla. Natalie Vanessa. Present. All right, Nubia Zulema. Present. Excellent. Romeo Alexis. Present. Very good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Very good. Salvador Alfonso. Salvador. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Eh, Sara Carolina. Present teacher. Very nice. Stephanie Lisset. Present. There you go. Uh, William Alberto. Present. Very nice. Joanny Noemi. Present teacher. Excellent. And the last one, Stephanie Janet. Present teacher. Okay, good. Antes de irlo, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. Something that might not be clear. No questions? No teacher. Okay, good. Complementenme, por favor, a la tarea que les falta del día de, 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 de este día. Y los que no me han terminado el midterm, por favor, me lo terminan esta misma noche. Necesito enviar tarea esa. Esas notas, ok, al Insafor. ¿Estamos? Teacher, ¿cuál, ¿cuál tarea de ahora? La tarea 5, correspondiente a, a mí, la tarea 10, ah, correspondiente, la de, de día. Si ya la hizo, no soy, problema. Yo ya lo tengo listo todo. Ok, sí. perfect, perfect. Yo mencionaba así para los que tal vez no han terminado. Ok, there you go. Entonces, porque sí, neces necesito ya enviar esas notas al Insafor a medianoche. Ok, bien. Dicho esto, entonces, los veo mañana. Mañana iniciamos semana 3. Bye, bye, people. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Okay, bye, bye. Se me queda eh, Natalie. No se me va a ir a rumbear con Ana María. <risa> bye, mis bye, Pórtese bien. Pórtese bien. Yes, of course. Y si se porta mal, me avisa. Ok, nos vamos a... Yes, of Salud. course. Salud. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, Natalie. Um, we're going to stay up for 10 minutes. Básicamente para uh, aclarar cualquier duda que usted pueda tener con relación a esta clase y las clases anteriores. Si algo no ha quedado del todo claro, este es el momento de que todo se aclare. Vaya, teacher, fíjese que yo más que todo tengo problemas con lo del presente, lo del presente simple y lo otro que estábamos viendo del simple past. No, ok, very good. Ah, yo ahí me confundo, teacher, yo ahí sí de veras que... No Pero problem. para eso hay fórmula, ¿verdad? Exacto, ahorita vamos a ver esto. Así que no problem. Ok, check this out. Vamos a poner acá, simple present. Y acá vamos a poner, simple past. En simple present necesitamos verbos como eat, drink, Acá vamos a poner en el pasado de esos verbos. Uh -huh. ¿Qué nos dice la fórmula, Natalie? En el presente simple, mire. 
que en oraciones afirmativas usando el presente simple, bueno, a, antes, de, antes de continuar, su duda es que no puede formular oraciones positivas o oraciones negativas o preguntas. Las tres, dicha. Ah, ok. No es que tengo dudas porque cuando también se le pone eh, de al final, de en el caso de decente, se le pone que. Ah, ok. Good. Ok, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Check this out. Para, el, para oraciones positivas, vamos a poner una crucita acá para que usted se dé cuenta de que estamos hablando de positive statements. La fórmula, mire, para oraciones positivas es subject plus main verb plus complement. Ese es básicamente eh, la función o la fórmula que ocupamos para crear oraciones en positivo en presente simple. Ejemplo. Pero no preguntas, solamente oraciones normales. Exacto. I teach English. You speak Spanish. All right, you see. En este caso, recordemos que en las terceras personas, en el presente simple, Natalie, le agregamos S a los verbos. Solo en el presente simple. Exactamente, específicamente en tercera persona, cuando usamos he, she o un nombre propio. ¿Ok? He, she y nombre propio, me dijo. ¿no? Ajá, también podemos colocar el AS con el, ver, el pronombre it. ¿Ok? En no problem. Uh -huh. All right. Por ejemplo, Natalie learns English. Es lo mismo como que yo pusiese she learns English. You see? Es lo mismo. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Esto en oraciones positivas. Ahora bien, ¿qué sucede en oraciones negativas? ¿Ok? Where is the place? Ah, there you go. Negative statements. En negative statements, we use, we use the subject All right. Plus. Esta básicamente sería la fórmula, miren. Para oraciones negativas. Para negativa. Exacto. El subject, ah, puede ser I. El verbo auxiliar que va con I es do. Ok. De hecho, aquí le falta algo. I check this out. I don't. I don't. I don't eat salad. No como ensalada. She doesn't speak French. Ah, ella no habla inglés. ¿Qué pasa en este tipo de sucesos? Ahí ya le pone el N, la, la apóstrofe con la T. Exactamente. ¿Por qué? Porque es una conjugación, mire, eh, ahí hago una contracción del do y el not en uno solo. 
Mm. Que va formulado don't. Pero solo en tercera persona. Eh, en la primera persona también, por ejemplo, I don't eat salad. No como ensalada. Ahí va contractado el do y el not. En la segunda dice. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. En la segunda dice. She doesn't speak French. Ella no habla francés. Doesn't, porque ahí es la combinación de does plus not. Es das y not unidos. Mm -hmm. Das porque es tercera persona. Exacto. Y el not, pues para hacer negativa la oración. En primera persona. That's correct. Mm -hmm. En este caso es tercera persona y el verbo se pone en forma base. Speak, ya se pone, eh, este ya se pone en forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí ya está la acción de la tercera persona, ya está modificado el auxiliar. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. That's why. Por eso es que okay. básicamente ya no se coloca okay, eh, el verbo con una S acá. Ah, o sea que cuando se le pone como. Eh, no, pero ahí me perdí. Cuando se le pone. Acá contractado ya no se le agrega S al, al verbo. Cuando es tercera persona se le agrega doesn't y el verbo principal no lleva S. ¿Por qué? Ah. Porque este ya va modificado el auxiliar. Eso solo, solo pasa en los negativos y en preguntas. ¿Ok? En oraciones positivas no pasa eso. El verbo tenemos que modificarlo. Ah, solo en negativos y en preguntas, dice. Es correcto. Another example. Otro ejemplo, mire acá. Uh -huh. Me dijo que no se le agregaba ese al verbo porque ya va en el, en el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ajá, mire. Vanessa doesn't. Ese es como que yo quiera decir, Vanessa does not. Uh -huh. Like pizza. Es como para cortar, ¿verdad? That's correct. Vanessa does not like pizza. Ah, a Vanessa no le gusta la pizza. La pizza. Si ve, ya like, ya no lo pongo con S. ¿Por qué? Porque ya llevo un verbo auxiliar que en este caso es das, que hace la función de la tercera persona. Mm. Karen, ahora sí vamos comprendiendo. Sí, ya, ya te eché. Ah, ya, ahí es donde yo me confundo, pero ahí ya tengo más clara la idea. Ajá, esto solo sucede en los negativos. Ahora bien, en sí, preguntas. En negativos y preguntas, dice, ¿verdad? Ajá, vaya, ahora en preguntas. Va, mire, lo voy a colocar acá. Lo voy a colocar. Permítame un momento. Uh -huh. Questions. En preguntas, mire, primero llevamos la WS Word plus plus tú o das. Subject. Plus. Plus member. Plus. Plus question. Okay. Esa básicamente es la estructura que lleva una pregunta en presente simple. Ejemplo. What does she do? No, what with you? ¿Qué hace ella? Ah, sí. Ya, yeah, plays. 
soccer. You see? Aquí en la respuesta si ya llevamos el verbo play con S. ¿Por qué será, eh, eh, Natalie, que llevamos el verbo en la, la S en el verbo? Eh, porque no va, no va modificado el auxiliar. Exactamente, porque en la, en la respuesta no tenemos auxiliar. Solo ah, tenemos... en las respuestas no hay auxiliar. En la respuesta, si ve, no llevamos das. Uh -huh. No. Ok. What does she do? ¿Qué hace ella? Ah, she plays soccer. Ella juega fútbol. Ok, you see? En ese caso, ya no es necesario colocar un auxiliar. Por eso es que el verbo aparece con una S. Si Pero solo va... en el caso de preguntas, usted. Exactamente. En caso de preguntas es que se utiliza más que todo el auxiliar. Do o das. Yes. That's right. Entonces acá, básicamente hablamos de las tres formas del present, de, del simple present. Positivo, uh -huh. negativo y pregunta. All right. No sé si tiene una pre, alguna pregunta con relación a el uso del presente simple. Ya con eso sí ya más clara. Ok, very good. Ahora bien, simple pass. En oraciones positivas, el pasado simple lleva, mire, WH word. Plus. Did plus subject plus main verb, verbo principal in base form, en forma base. All right. Plus complement. All right. Plus Question mark. ¿Qué sucede acá? Mire, acá básicamente. Dime second. This is a question form. Esto básicamente es la estructura de una pregunta. Actually, not positive. This is a question mark. Bien, la estructura de una pregunta consta de WS Word. De cualquier WH word, por ejemplo, yo puedo poner where, did, que es la forma pasada del auxiliar duo o das. Y luego el subject. En este caso, puedo poner su nombre. Nat Natalie. Where did Natalie um, play soccer? Where did Natalie play soccer? Ah, ¿por qué llevamos play acá en, en, en forma base? En presente simple, Natalie. Vaya, Nat Vaya Natalie, sencillo, mire. Porque aquí llevamos did. Did es la forma pasada del verbo do. Entonces, como llevamos did acá, ya el auxiliar está haciendo la forma del pasado. Entonces, ya no es ah. necesario que el verbo play vaya con ed. Por eso es que el verbo play no lleva ed. Porque el verbo auxiliar va haciendo la acción del pasado. Ah, Ay, pero para manejar eso, de tener como... No, no, mire, mire, eso. le voy a dar una clave, le voy a dar una clave. Usted puede usar en una pregunta cualquier verbo que usted quiera, que siempre el verbo en una pregunta se va a mantener en presente simple, en forma base. Nunca se va a colocar un verbo, listen up, nunca se va a colocar un verbo en pregunta con ed o, o forma pasada. No, siempre va a ser el did. Ah, pero solo en el caso obviamente del simple o pas, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Only in simple past. 
Solamente en el pasado simple. Ya en la respuesta, sí, mire. She plays soccer in her house. Ella juega a, al fútbol en su casa. Aquí sí, el verbo plays, ya llevamos la S. A mí, espéreme, 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 la S, la ED. Estoy bien, estoy en presente. Ja. Ahí. She plays soccer in her house. Ella jugó fútbol en su casa. ¿Por qué ahora llevo el verbo play con ed en pasado? Ah, sencillo, Natalie. Porque ya en la respuesta ya no llevo auxiliar. Ya no llevo ese verbo auxiliar do o that. Ya no lleva el qué dijo. A mí. Ya en este caso no lleva el auxiliar did. Si, ah, ve, okay. si, ve, si ven la respuesta acá, no lleva ningún auxiliar did. Uh -huh. Por eso el verbo está obligado a estar en pasado. En pasado. Yes. Teacher, y cuando está en pasado siempre se le agrega ed. Siempre, siempre, siempre. Cuando el verbo es regular, sí. Cuando es irregular, tiene que colocarse la forma pasada de ese verbo. Así como el did. Exactamente. That's the way. No, ok. Este en la forma de preguntas. Vaya, en oraciones positivas. Es como en la, en la respuesta ahí, mire. Por ejemplo, Natalie sent text messages. Ah, mire, el verbo send lo llevo en pasado. ¿Cuál es la forma eh, pos, eh, del presente de send? Ah, mire, después de send. Así, así es en presente, así es en pasado. ¿Por qué llevo este en pasado en una oración positiva, Natalie? Ah, sencillo, me va a decir usted. Porque no le hemos colocado verbo auxiliar acá. No va a did. Y ve, no va a ir por ningún lado. Entonces acá, right, what is really necessary es que el verbo cambie a su forma pasada. Ah, uh vaya. -huh. Uh, ok. Sí. Esta es la forma entonces en cómo crear oraciones negativas y crear preguntas. Ok. Y crear preguntas. Igual en la forma negativa. ¿Por qué? Porque fíjese. No. Hagamos la misma, la misma oración, mire. Natalie didn't, didn't Ahora sí, mire, aquí ya la tenemos en una oración negativa. Natalie didn't send text message. ¿Por qué didn't? Porque aquí está la unión de did y not juntos did y not Natalie didn't send ah y como acá tengo auxiliar mire el verbo va en forma base va uh -huh. en presente simple ok va en presente simple y luego text messages que ya sería el complemento el complemento yes. bien Natalie okay. no sé si hasta acá tiene alguna pregunta no, teacher, ya me queda más claro, solo lo voy a repasar un poquito más para... Pero sí, ya tengo más claro eso, porque sí, eso se anda un poco perdido. <risa> ok, ok, me alegra okay. saber eso entonces, Natalie. Ok. Solo lo voy a repasar un poquito más. Perfecto. Muy uh -huh. bien entonces, Natalie. Si no hay ninguna pregunta, entonces nos vemos mañana, Natalie, ¿ok? Sí, primero Dios. Gracias, teacher. Ok, Bye, pues. welcome. Adiós, teacher. Bye, Pásame bye. Buenas noches, teacher. Igualmente. Adiós. Bye, bye.